Hey there guys, how has your week been? Mine was pretty busy as usual, trying to split my time between my full-time coding job, different side projects and this YouTube channel. In this video I thought I'd talk about the best method I found this far when it comes to generating revenue from coding. I also mentioned it in the tire list video and a lot of you seem to be curious about it. While the process of coding apps from scratch might take you from a few days to a few weeks based on experience and coding ability, it is by far superior when it comes to scalability. I personally coded 7 apps and this was my first year when I finally achieved an MRR of over $1000. By the end of this video you will have a step by step framework on how you can do the exact same thing. I'll talk about how you can find a good idea and build it, market it and then finally sell it multiple times. So without further ado, let's hop in. A lot of people assume that making money with coding requires some groundbreaking idea. It doesn't. Some of the most successful indie developers out there are making solid revenue from apps that solve really simple niche problems. It doesn't have to be something huge. In fact, the smaller and more specific the problem, the better. If you're struggling to come up with ideas, start by looking at your own life. What's something that frustrates you? Is there a small task that takes longer than it should? something that would be automated, chances are if something is annoying you, it's annoying for other people too. And that's where opportunity lies. To give you a few examples, a solo entrepreneur on YouTube created a Chrome extension that organizes your chat GPT chats into folders, while also allowing you to find specific words or expressions in pre-existing conversations. I was personally thinking of creating an app that converts Mac screen recordings to the 16 by 9 standard aspect ratio that most monitors use. The list can go on and on. Reddit, Twitter and Discord communities are absolute gold mines for finding these kinds of problems. People are constantly talking about things that bother them or inefficiencies they deal with daily. Your job is to spot these and think could I solve this with a simple app? If the answer is yes, you are on the right track. Once you have an idea, the next step is coding it. But here's the thing, keep it simple. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is overcomplicating their app right from the start. They try to build out every possible feature before even knowing if people want it. Instead, focus only on the core feature, the one thing that actually solves the problem, your idea. Everything else can come later. And honestly, don't stress too much about the tech stack you will use. It will most probably be something new to you. But keep in mind that you don't have to know everything beforehand. If you're stuck, just learn as you go use ChatGPT, Stack Overflow or the documentation. The internet is full of resources that can help you figure things out on the fly. One of these resources that I have been using for the past few weeks is Kodi.tech, this video's partner. They are a very easy and fun way to learn programming. Recently they had this big update containing a lot of new journeys. You just choose what you want to learn, whether we are talking about different programming languages, frameworks or databases, and they'll have have an entire path laid out with an integrated IDE at each lesson so you get hands-on coding experience and weekly goals to make progressing even more fun. Additionally, they offer courses custom made to your personal level of knowledge and daily challenges to help sharpen your skills. If you don't know the answer to a problem, they even implemented an AI button that will slowly give you hints and guide you towards the right solution. My favorite aspect of this entire app is by far that learning is gamified, with fire streaks of consecutive days and badges. If I were to start from scratch with writing code, I'd choose this app and you can do it too by following the first link in the description down below. Alright, so now that you have a working version of your app, the next step is figuring out if people actually want it. And the best way to do this is to just put it out there. You don't need a massive launch. Just create a simple landing page that explains what your app does, post about it on relevant subreddits and see if people are interested. If you start getting feedback, great. If not, don't get discouraged, it might just need a slight pivot to better fit what people are looking for. When it comes to pricing, I used to think that subscriptions were the best way to make money, but in my experience, people are way more likely to pay for something if it's just a one-time purchase. It feels like a better deal and it eliminates the problem of users cancelling after a few months. 
Obviously, if you are building a huge SaaS product, a subscription model might make more sense, but for smaller indie projects, I found that one-time payments work way better. Marketing doesn't have to be expensive either. In fact, you can do it completely for free if you know where to look. Platforms like Reddit, Product Hunt and niche communities can get you tons of visibility without spending a dime on ads. The key is to share your app in a way that provides value rather than just spamming links. Instead of saying, hey, check out my app, frame it as I built this tool to solve this problem. Here is how it works. People are way more likely to engage with that kind of Post. You can also be even more creative here. If you know about Mark Luvion, he used to market his startups by reinterpreting famous scenes from movies and then posting them on X. Usually these sketches would go viral and his apps would benefit a ton from it. Other than that, even though it takes a lot of time, creating a following is your best bet when it comes to free marketing in the long run. Finally, once your app is out there, listen closely to the feedback you get. The best way to improve is by making small, strategic updates based on what your users actually want. Not all feedback is useful, but if multiple people are requesting the same thing, that's a sign it's worth implementing. But that would be pretty much the entire process I usually go through when coming up with a new application. Find the problem, build a simple solution, test the market, price it right, get in front of the right people, and iterate based on feedback. It's really not that complicated, especially after you do it a few times, but it works. Maybe not from the first try, but at some point, if you are persistent, I guarantee you'll nail it. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you ever built an app for profit or are you thinking about it? Drop a comment down below and I'll try to respond to as many as possible. Thanks for watching and as always, happy coding.